All glory is to see Lord Ganesha. As was said by his father, Namichimaya, that any and every prayer that we have to do, we have to pay obeisance to Sri Lord Ganesha. And the reason I decided to choose uh, songs of Sri Lord Ganesha before we do the other Deva and Devi. Today, I mean, this week is a very big time for Sri Lord Murga. I'm sure that our learned Guru has explained to you uh, the various types of uh, uh, Deva that Lord Murga takes. I mean, the, the form is known by many names, uh, uh, sorry, known by six names. That's why they call him Aramuga and where he came from and what the Saravana Baba Lake is all about, how he appeared, all that the little Guru has told you. So we will get to see Lord Murgan's song a little later on. But I always, when I do my service, I like to pay obeisance to see Lord Murgan's song. So that's what I'm going to do. Sri Lord Murgan's song.
Yeah. Mm-hmm.
Lambo Thank you. 
song, song, one, two, chick, chick, song, one, two, chick, song, song.
Right. As they continue, back to our music group, to the speed process program, we will go one round and come back and do the speed formality.
So this will give you enough time to decorate your cavities and have them back at the temple by Monday evening, the latest at 7 p.m. So collection of the flowers will be done on Sunday. I'll just announce the time tomorrow because I'm not, we haven't uh, confirmed with Indra the time that we'll bring the flowers, but it will be available. If you're coming for the obeyam on, on Sunday, the flowers will be here. Uh, if you still need to book a Kavadi or to order any flowers for the two days, either the 23rd or 27th, please, uh, it's still available through Avanti at the admin desk. Um, then just a decoration reminder that you must pay and collect your Kavadi in any day, and you will be issued with a tag, which you must place when you've decorated your Kavadi. You must place a tag back on your Kavadi. Um, we ask that the devotees who are carrying on the 23rd decorate your cavities and deliver this back up by Monday 22nd between 1 p.m. and 7 p.m. And then the devotees carrying on Saturday must deliver it back to the temple on Friday 26th April between 2 and 6 p.m. Now we want to urge you that once you finish carrying your cavity, this is a new thing that we, we're trying at SSK, and so we're making a pledge, a, a, a request, please, to all our devotees to please assist in actually undecorating your cavity. I don't know how you say it, but to remove all of the flowers and all of your decorations, take them home, put them on your door, put them in your sami, you know, place them on your folded lap, because they're just going to be going into the river and that's not a nice thing. So if you want to please help us to take off your decorations and take them home when you would really appreciate it. Then the next thing we are wanting to talk to talk about is the youth involvement. Um, as Periyar and Guru have been asked, encouraging you to please bring your children to the temple. Let them listen to the explanations. Let them get involved. Let them um, do discourses. Let them play a tambourine. So this little young boy likes to dance and he loves music. So we encourage him to join the group every day because he won't get caught. <laughs> so he comes from a musical family, Sandra's grandson, but he's such a sweet little boy. He loves to dance, he loves to play music. So the so so like them, you can encourage your children to get involved in whatever activities that you can. The other thing that we want to encourage you is to buy the books that uh, Peria Professor Kenji Moli has written so that you can read them excerpts of what is going on in the temple or a relevant prayer function that you're doing at home. The next thing is the vegetable cleaning. We are kindly requesting your assistance on Friday, 26th April, um, from about 10 a.m. in the morning. We really need hands. I know that it's a working day for most of you. But whoever is available, please give your name to Avanti. Uh, we want to make sure we have enough hands on board to cut, clean and cut all of those vegetables that are needed for the comedy on Saturday. Um, and so I've come to the end of all of my announcements, but the most important thing is for us to hear some education and, and gain some knowledge of having come here to SSK. So our next item will be a discourse by Devendra and Ravinder, and he's going to be talking about the Shiva Lingam, so I'll leave it to Devendra. Thank you. I have to stress a little, you know, I, for, if I have to, uh, I have to do a brief summary. Because if I tell you about uh, 
Our religion, it taught me a little about our religion, it took me a, a lifetime. Just uh, what I want to say is to everyone, you know, uh, just be proud of your culture. You know your language, your customs, etc. For it is the oldest known religion in the world, probably about uh, 100,000 years old, I would say. Uh, probably confirmed by uh, Western sources. Uh, you know, Western people, they are an endless source of comic stupidity, I have to say. You know, when it comes to our religion, our religious practices, etc., etc. Now, initially, the West, they used to they used to refer to you know, our worship of idols as a uh, devil worship, you know? Now, recently, intellectuals have come to realize that, uh, you know, we pray to Murga, Shiva, our mantras, it's actually an exact science. You know, there's an exact science behind it. Now, the mantras that we chant <coughs> have certain vibrations and frequency. So I'm going to tell you a few. I don't want to take up too much of your time because I know everyone is tired, they had a long day at work. So, for example, point uh, one hertz is for heart and brain cohesion. Right? Triple one hertz is known as divine frequency as it uh, regenerates cells. Right? And 10,000 hertz destroys cancer. Also, have you ever noticed a galaxy or galaxies? Anyone notice? I mean, you have Google Earth now, National Geographic. Anyone seen it? A galaxy. Tell me, raise your hand. Anybody seen a galaxy? No. Oh, okay. Well, I'll tell you. You see, the, the middle of this uh, galaxy is black. It's black and it's ellipsoid in shape. Same like the Shivalinga, the little side in shape that we have over here. So, why do we pray to the Shivalinga? So you see, in the middle there is nothing. And all around it you have the stars, you have the planets, the life forms, everything is formed. So, out of nothingness comes all these forms to somethingness. And out of this somethingness, everything one day will return to nothingness. Right. So, so point is that when you return home, you know, everybody's got Google now, uh, Wi-Fi, so, right? so you can do that. Anyway, to conclude, I just want to say, uh, everyone, especially the youth, you know, the youth, you basically are our future now. You know, we might be dwindling, but I would like to encourage the youth to study more our culture and our customs. Yes, it might seem tedious, I know, you know. This is not some other religion like instant coffee, you know, you make boiling water, pour the coffee in there, and you get instant coffee. Our religion and religious practice, it takes a lot of time and effort. Because God just won't help you just like that, you know, like instant coffee. He has to see that, you know, your dedication and your willpower, the time you sacrifice because there's one thing money in this world cannot buy, is time. If you just make a little time for God, you don't have to go two, three hours. Maybe half an hour, one hour, take your time off, you know, and pray to God. If he sees all that, obviously God is going to help you. And you will open your doorways, whatever trouble you're going through, everybody goes through trouble. We are not God, we are not saints, we are not Siddhi, Sadhus and Rishis. We all go through problems, but if we keep the faith, we keep our customs alive, 
We will go far. Very, very far. So what I want to say to the youth is, uh, not every day, uh, two, three times a week, you know, you all have internet at home. Well, sorry, not all. I take that back. Most of you have internet. Just take maybe half an hour, 45 minutes, not a lot. Just browse through. Just, if you want to find out about Lord Murga, just Google it on the internet. Read up on it, make some pointers. Shiva, you can do that as well. Saraswati, everyone, Ganesha as well, you know. Just take a few minutes, oh sorry, half an hour, five, five minutes, two, three times a week to do that. Oh, okay. What I would like to say in conclusion is, you can incarcerate a person, but you can never incarcerate their knowledge. Knowledge is power. Remember that, everyone. Knowledge is power. And, yes, so the youth of here, you'll have no excuse because all the time you're sitting on WhatsApp, so your thumb has a lot of practice now, right? Thank you. And then once more, round of applause. What I like about Devon then is his talk was very casual. Nothing serious, but yet the subject he was discussing, the very serious matter for us all to take cognizance of. And you know this thing about youth, it worries me. We talk and we talk, but they don't come forward. And I'm holding Perth as responsible. They say, what you learn in the cradle, our period always says that you will take to the grave, right? But don't take it to the grave and bury it. Leave a legacy behind. And that you do through your children. So you would have had your innings, you've done, you contributed. But give our children, our grandchildren, the ability. I told you what my grandson did the other day, I shared with some of you were here. When I was praying in the room, I said, Betty, well, Murugunika, say, how can I live? And when I left there a week later, telling his sister, Come on, Akash. I say, Betty Vail Murugan, you say, Arogara. And he's four years. He's four years. And I want to see him following his grandfather's footsteps, but not rigorous. We must slowly introduce it to them. If you're regimental and you're like an army, they'll repel from you. Okay? So we've got to subtly do it and bring them into our fold. Because like Devendran said, Periyat said, and I've said it, and Jodi said, isn't that said? And she is trying to recruit youth into this temple, into this committee, because you are our future. Inru, our girl Perlegar. There's Yagapa, Nana boy sitting there. My guru, our guru used to say, Inru, our girl Perlegar. Today they are children. Nale, our girl not to wear a girl. Tomorrow they're going to become the warriors. They're going to become the leaders. And they're going to be the trendsetters of the future. With us, our team will give Shiv Shakti tomorrow. Take the item and we'll conclude usually with nothing to do. But you're very good at that! You're very good at that! You're very good at that! I'm glad you're still wide awake. I'll just test it. Right. So, Shiv Shakti Pratnik Kutum and we'll conclude with the Nadi Hindu, the Nadi Hindu. Thank you.
for the penalty, for the vibration, for the rendition. So powerful, so good, so electric. Not this calm electricity, more about the electricity. Okay. Uh, but for 21 days, they said we didn't have load shedding. So watch the space. The galaxy that Sivajan was talking about, what's that dark space? Right. With that, my dear people, we're going to come to the conclusion. But before we do that, on the day that we hoisted flag, I spoke to you about offering sweets at the chariot. And the custom has always been to throw the sweets. And as I said, Arab Shorty, when I was officiating the type of some cavalry, a little boy asked me, 15 year old boy, why did Auntie darting Muruga with the sweets? That's what she did. She took it. She had a combination of mother of air and human trance. And she threw it. Now you don't throw things. You offer at the feet. You offer with love. Now when you throw, this auntie actually you are the javelin throw, you know? Maybe in a school she was the javelin champion. She's missing it, I don't blame you. Right. Okay, over the years, we allowed it, we let it go. But when the boy asked me, even as a guru, he got me thinking. And then I stopped it and I'm sure he where I didn't allow them to throw. We put a bucket at the 20, 20 liter bucket, turn it, offer it in the bucket, later we dish that as per to children. Why waste? This day and age, why waste? And I told you another thing, you get mailed when you turn the sweet. You almost gonna land in trauma unit. I don't know about others. I nearly land in trauma unit because when the thing pokes you, it's bad. You know the pink sweet? What they say? Dynamite comes in small packages. So please, this time we're not throwing or poking you again. We sorted it out, a bucket, carry it with love, offer it with love, and go with love. But you ever gonna care?
So dear devotees, same time, same place, 5.30, tomorrow, being the Friday. And on Saturday, we're starting at 5. I must apologize, being a weekend, I could have started earlier, but before the Panjangam came out last year in June, I got booked for a wedding. When couple say they'll get married, I say, look, Mary, that's it, right. You're going to carry that. Right. So, there's a wedding at uh, the Radisson Hotel in Amshlaga. Once I'm done there, I will get here. I'm trying to get here about past four, but depends. The couple come late, wedding starts late, and rest is easy. So I'll try and come here early, but the latest we want to start here is five o'clock. But when we're at past four, we will start because we're expecting a big crowd in the weekend. So Saturday is five o'clock, but we did four thirty and five. Tomorrow is five thirty. And Sunday, remember, we're starting at one p.m. Right? We got Kartike and Pele on Sunday to do the rendition of our service. And tomorrow, Jody? Tonga Tamil Academy. Tonga Tamil Academy, Saturday? Siva Priya Hadiyat. Siva Priya, I think she's been here before. So, so this is our lineup. We're trying to bring service groups every day so that we get the vibration going. So with that, please have supper with us. And when you leave here, we wish you a safe journey on. And looking forward to seeing you again and bring more people with you as well. God bless all of you.